Aquarius, welcome to your July to December advanced forecast for 2018. Um, it's supposed to be June to December, but uh, I did not manage to finish all the forecasts or all, for all the signs right before we move. So I missed out the June for you. But I'll be giving you a bonus, which is I will be showing you your... Um, whole quarter for the for the year 2019 first second third and fourth it's just a sneak preview of your 2019 and what should be what should you be aware of all right all right let's take a look this is for the month of july Somebody who's on air sign is going to come back into your life. Uh, but you need to work on your communications. It seems like the two of you just keeps on hurting each other anyway. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And we'll still be pulling out more clarifications on this. Because the water sign... Well, the fire sign is kind of... Uh, you know... It's still hanging. Well, Aquarius, once you've got the money, you want to move on. But, unfortunately, you know, your intention and your aim is not right. Oof, wow. Wow, wow, wow. One, two, three, four. Four bad cards. Consecutively right next to each other. First row actually ended with the um, earth sign. Sorry, with the fi uh, with the water sign, and this card also ended up with the water sign. Let's see what's going on with the water sign. You know that air sign, who's already a mother older than you. Who wants to come back into your life or who will be around your life again this time. It's like you're going to be trying to be together once again. But it's not really going to work out because this person is just too full of themselves. Instead of admitting their mistakes, they're just going to keep on bringing up the past. And they are unable to move on from it. Okay? As if they did not really do anything to ruin their relationship as well. This is for the month of July. And... There will be some karmic um, cycle that's going to be playing in your life right now this month of July. And it seems like you've been, you, you're still thinking about this older air sign. Okay, older air sign of women in your life. And I, there will be another chance for the two of you to either continue, bridge your, you know, bridge your past or to just permanently close the lead of the past. Okay. But then your communications will just, it will just turn sour. Because this person is still bitter about the past. They have tried to move on. They've tried to be with another person. But, you know, it seems like whatever they feel and whatever they have gone through with you, it just keeps on rolling over and over again in their head. And they just keep on blaming you for it. 
Now this time, I feel like it's not really for a second chance, but more for a closure so that the two of you could finally just set each other free and move on. Now right in the middle of the month, there will be a correspondence or there will be news that, that will bring you happiness. Yet, on the other hand, it will be balanced by a betrayal. So these two are two different... Well, this will be two different, you know, two different things and uh, two separate things. I feel like this um, this news that's coming is about work, finances, or an opportunity. Yet, on the other hand, someone you will learn that someone is actually betraying you. Someone who's younger than you, very feisty, uh, immature, um, more of a dreamer, uh, very ambitious. Okay, and this person feels like she's bigger than you. Now, this person is a water sign, all right, and it this person had caused you a lot of strife, cheated on you, and used you for an opportunity or just to let's say you know, just to feed their ego and uh. It's like for them, you're just a decoration in their life, and you, know, you are their pride and you are their trophy. But you know what you actually do with a trophy? You just put it in one corner and let other people gaze at it. Okay, and that is what your um, that is what your uh, what do you call this? Your use in their life. You need to protect yourself from this person who's going to be taking advantage of you again. I feel like even though they're water sign, they they actually act as a fire sign. Be very careful of this person, okay? And even if they are going to come back into your life, I feel like it's much better for you to just close the chapter and beat each other goodbye and, you know, wish each other well. Alright, no bitterness. I let go of the, uh, the angst, the wrath, and the uh, anguishes. Now... Work-wise, Aquarius, this month of July is not really favorable for you. Whether you're single or already married or committed, it seems like you're almost there. Okay, you're almost there. The, the opportunity is just right beyond your reach and you feel so stuck in a situation. Because, you know, your aim is wrong. It's like you are thinking that if ever I'm going to have that opportunity or if ever I'm going to have that kind of money, I'm going to go. I'm going to take off, leave, and, you know, leave everything behind. Which is, I feel like this is the reason why things doesn't really pan out the way you want them to be. Because the intention is wrong. You need to change your plans. You need to change your mindset. You need to change your plans like how you want it to be and then right after that or right after getting what you want you have to change how will it be then afterwards because right in the middle of the month there will be a lot of series of unfortunate events that's going to be raining on you one is that there is something that you need to leave behind or someone that you need to leave behind who's been causing a lot of toxicity in your life and another is you're already struggling yet you are still bringing a lot of unwanted dramas into your life or you are absorbing a lot of unwanted dramas from people who's just plainly selfish okay and lastly there are some expectations things um things that you have been anticipating to come or anticipating to happen or take place just because that you feel so confident that this will materialize but unfortunately someone will be stealing the opportunity from you and there is someone who will be betraying you and this person is from the past which is i have told you be careful with this water sign person okay now soon enough your efforts will come to fruition and i feel like you will be moving to a new place new home or you need to relocate or move to a new company and don't let this water sign rule you over again you'll be receiving enough money there's a, an older fire sign and an earth sign who will be assisting you with your needs just you know avoid 
lying in order for you to avoid having bad karmas as well okay and your world will definitely or your destiny will start shaping up you're having a, hard, a lot of hard times right now because there are also a lot of things that you're doing in, in the wrong way you need to leave all those bad habits bad attitude bad behaviors bad mindset people influences and everything else it's time for a new beginning it's time for you to pull out the best of you and straighten up your life because if ever that you're not gonna do this you're a very smart intelligent and analytical person but sometimes things doesn't really pan out the way you want them to be because you're too proud okay you're a very intelligent person you can figure the, this you can figure your way out all right now when it comes to your sex life and love life it seems like for those married ones you're having a lot of um, spaces distances and walls it's like before you're still hoping for things to get better but now you are slowly diminishing that hope the things will still go back to how they used to be and so you're thinking of doing something outside the relationship yet this is only a thought but there is already a temptation that's waiting for you outside of the door and outside of your fence now if you're gonna give in to this then there will be a lot more bad things that's gonna be coming your way so you have to think straight and you have to prioritize whatever that is really best for you at this point instead of thinking that will just worsen your situation okay if ever because i feel like you're having a lot of some sexual and physical less contact with your with your partner you also need to understand why is it that they are acting like this why do they feel like this why do they push you away and why are they distancing the, themselves to you could be that you have an attitude or habit that they feel like it's already hopeless for them to talk to you about it and for them to ask you to change it perhaps that you're also too stubborn to hear them out and if ever that they're going to open up whatever that's inside of them you judge them so that they tend to get tired of all the things that they feel like it's you know they could st it, it could still help the situation or the relationship to grow further so what they do is just retreat keep quiet and ignore even your needs okay so i feel like there's still a chance for you to um fix this and save the relationship otherwise within the next three months there will be a great breakage especially in the month of october now when it comes to your health i feel like you need to offer more seafood or eat more fresh fish um well also avoid those food that will come from a river and no seagrass for now um seaweeds okay and I also feel like you need to start checking out your clothes or you need to shop for new clothes because either you're losing too much weight or you have gained so much weight because of your depression for the past few weeks and months now aside from that I feel like you will also be thinking of opting for some natural methods or herbal stuff which is I feel like it's because of your health situation in the past and you don't really believe in some synthetic medicines but it's much better for you to go and check out with your doctor don't self-medicate it is much better for you to know what's really going on with you instead of you know um guessing now nasal problems uh teeth bones hair losses or you would just notice that your hair is starting to have a different color getting so dried up and your nails are getting brittle and uh, 
bruises that will just come out of nowhere okay I'm getting the name of a disease which is I don't really want to say it here but it is much better for you to go and check out with your doctor check out your blood your liver and everything else okay also keep on checking on your eyes uh, pull your pull your skin under your eyes and uh, check it out if it's reddish whitish or yellowish all right Aside from that, take care of your lungs. Don't offer any secondhand smoking or stop smoking altogether. And if ever that you have been losing weight, you need to start gaining weight. Okay? I also feel like it is because that you're not really eating that much. That you will start to feel some pain in your stomach. And it sometimes you will, you, you will mistaken it as a chest pain. But it's actually coming from your stomach. All right, let's take a look at your Oracle cards for this month of July. Now this time I'll be using the Wisdom of the Oracle. Deep knowing, exchanging gifts, buy the book, between worlds, serendipity, orphan. You know, as I've said that you're a very smart and analytical, analytical person, but right before you make the major decision, right before you believe someone, because sometimes you're too gullible when it comes to love, okay? You're very smart and intelligent when it comes to, to other things, but when it comes to love, you just let, you know, the universe rule you over. And most of the times, people take advantage of you. <clears throat> now, exchanging gifts. Sometimes you will see yourself in front of other people to be your mirror. Or there is somebody who will be giving you a lesson and will definitely reflect you. This is not your twin flame, but there, there is also something that you need to, you know, that you need to learn is a lesson. And you tend to always follow what's, you know, you, you're actually by the book. Sometimes you just need to bend some rules and do it on your own. Analyze, be creative, and think of more ways. That is not just not just within the rules that you have made for yourself or that you have created for yourself. Between the worlds, you are living in two different worlds both at the same time stop pretending who you're not and i feel like if there are some situation that calls for more of a reality check do so and don't be afraid to check the reality of the situation and the intention of the person okay serendipity there is somebody from the past that will be shining your way especially for those single aquarius who's still looking for love Okay, somebody will finally be enlightening you with love and care, but this is not yet going to be shaping up into a relationship anytime soon. This is just the beginning. Now, sometimes you feel like you're alone. Sometimes you feel like nobody's there for you. And sometimes you feel like you don't really have a family. Now, you are given this, the, the strength and the gift of wisdom for you to, you know, to go through this on your own and to be a leader, to lead those people who's been going through in the same path that you used to be and that you used to, to take before. Okay, so there is a purpose there. All right, so let's take a look at your August forecast. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow. Looking good for you. Wow, Aquarius. You know, if you're thinking of uh, doing a business or investing or becoming self-employed, then this is the right thing to. Do. This is the right time for you. Looks like it's having two choices. It's like you're <clears throat> you're gonna be getting what you wish and you're gonna be getting most of the uh, the deal business commission reward promotion business opportunity job opportunity and job offer and I feel like you are gonna be walking away or leaving a place behind or something behind and with this you are just simply waiting for this time to happen because you've always wanted to be on your own now you are gonna be leaving right in the middle of the month and I feel like you're gonna be walking away either from a family or someone that you're with right now and you will be keeping things as a secret you will be spreading your your wings to fly and um, I feel like you will be enjoying much of your solo time You'll also be hanging around with most of your friends. There is a success that uh, actually awaits you, but this is not really gonna last. Now, as I've said, that if your intention is wrong, then things will not really pan out the way you expect them to be. You feel like this is really, you know, it's like you feel like this is already unlimited, or it's never gonna end. But you're wrong. It will only work for a little while, and then later on. There will be some people who will be coming your way to get, uh, to teach you a lesson and to make uh, and to wake you up. Okay, that whatever it is that you're doing, it is not really gonna last. Now, when it comes to your when it comes to your works and finances, receiving money, having a promotion getting a job celebration achieving a success recognition more respect from your peers and co-workers and I feel like there is if you're also going for a bidding you will be winning now try to remain grounded because I feel like you're gonna be a little bit flighty and you're gonna be very aggressive and you will be putting your success in your head now you want to move either but to a new company new position new department or new team and you will somehow get more rewards and more commissions on this now with the money that you're gonna be receiving I feel like you will be splurging and you will be like spending here and there but you need to be very careful as I've said this is only a temporary success this month because last month it's not really very good for you but this month yes financially there will be some money that's going to be coming to you and even a breaking opportunity but you need to be a little bit more practical and realistic that this is not an unlimited opportunity 
try to save as much as possible because I feel like you are going to be investing something on your own because you've always wanted to be your own boss okay there will be some people who's going to be coming your way whom you think will be your real friend but unfortunately when your downfall lands okay down on your knees or down on your feet then this people will be gone as well along with your money be very careful in making that decision okay now when it comes to your sex and love life you are the one who will be opting for another choice or an illicit affair or you're going to be dating two people both at the same time because you want to be safe now for those who's already married or already in a relationship you're you've been having a lot of problems you've been having a lot of gaps in your relationship and with this you feel like it's just right for you to offer a reserve just in case that things will fall down between the two of you and your loved one and when you walk away there is somebody who's going to be catching you which is very childish now if there is something going on in your relationship and if you if you've been having some problems why cheat why take another person is a reserve that you feel like at least when you you know at least when you leave then someone will be catching you it's wrong instead of bettering the situation instead of contributing how will you make it better you are just adding up more problems okay you are just creating more complications to yourself that later on you will just regret it big time you just need to talk and you only need to communicate you also need how to listen it's not just always you okay now along with this you are the one who's going to be extra possessive and jealous and suspicious to your partner and you will be suspecting them that it's them who's having an affair whereas it is you there will be some confrontations there will be some walking away dramas there will also be some big verbal fights, even violent fights, okay? And right after that, you're going to be wooing each other. You're going to be wooing your partner. And it's like on and off, on and off. And then your partner will be refusing you to stay in their life. I don't see any separation for now, but it's like the two of you are just trying to get along and waiting for whoever will be giving up and whoever will just walk away and say goodbye okay now when it comes to your health fever and chills bronchial problems chest cough uh colds and flu gaining weight and i feel like don't stay too late at night because you're also going to have some problems with your eyes concentrate you will also have some problems concentration sorry concentrating especially driving at night vertigo ringing in your ears and uh, I feel like you'll always trip more on your left side and there's also a lifestyle or habit that you need to leave behind which is you're too lazy to go to the gym I mean, not all Aquarius, but I feel like at this point it is because that sometimes you feel so heavy about your body or you feel so heavy about your life that you just tend to sit on the couch all day and ponder. Okay? Now, offer some organic food instead of uh, taking too much of ready mix food or, or just ready to eat or ready to mix. Okay? You also need to stretch a little bit, go out there and. Uh, have a bit of a sun in your skin and bones and still check your eyes okay you need to check your eyesight and you need to check the grades of your reading glasses now let's take a look at your you will also have some painful bunion and swollen feet swollen ankle you will also find painful uh, bumps or boils in your head because of the insects that you are not really aware of oh and one more thing 
always take a shower every night because I feel like there are some not really parasites inside your body but it's more of the place that you're ca kind of moving and there are some insects that you need to clear off and they do stick around your body ooh straight blue abundance 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 oh four abundant cards all right Nine of Abundance, life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you a great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small, luxurious gifts. You've earned the financial security and, and, and independence you now enjoy. Ace of Abundance, this cheer brings wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans. This resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting things done. It's a good time to start a new venture, change careers, or go into business for yourself. See, I told you. There may be important contracts to sign, but this, you know, you need to be careful with your money. Helper of Abundance, although you have a lot to do, it's important that you get organized first. Once plan is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and are ready to help out. This card also indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend. Someone with a big heart, a quick wit, and endless patience. That person could be you. Intuition and insight, your intuitive abilities are very accurate right now, so you can trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction. Follow your own insights over the advice of others and don't allow fear or worry to guide your way. It may be best to keep your secrets to yourself for now. A win-win solution, there's strength and diversity by blending the ideas of other people with your own. You can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon, and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. Eight of Abundance, this is a time of learning and honing your skills. You may be inspired to go back to school, take seminars or topics that fascinate you or educate yourself in the healing arts. This is a good time to change jobs or make a career move. The key to success is in the details. Monitor your projects carefully. All right, let's take a look at your September forecast. Travel at the end of the month. This month you're going to be full of lies. You're going to be lying to someone who is actually counting on you just for you to head to get what you want. You're really going to be traveling within the last week of this month.
You're still gonna be acting so proud right at the uh, middle of this month and I feel like there are some things that you really need to change in your attitude if you want your relationship to work out the way you want them to be. You should also stop smoking. Is you're already developing some problems here with your breath and with your teeth. Now, the moment that you have been waiting for, okay, for you to leave, walk away, spread your wings and fly, practice your independence and do whatever it is that you want without any obligations or worries about, you know, the person that you're with. And unfortunately, you're going to be lying to someone who's counting on you. You love this person. You have a lot of feelings for this person. Yet, it's like you just wanted to have your me time. You want to be free, you want to be alone, you want to practice it on, practice it on your own, but unfortunately with the things that you're going to be doing and incurring, there, you will be making a lot of huge mistakes and you're going to get stuck to this, especially right starting at the, at the middle of the month. Okay. The things that you have started, your friends will also be failing you, people that you have counted on, people that you thought will always be there for you will finally start walking away because you will slowly be incurring more mistakes and failures. As I've said that yes, you will have enough money in the month of August, but that doesn't mean that you should splurge. The time is not really stable, it just keeps on rolling on, on and off, up and down. And you should always wait you should also sorry, you should always watch out for the time that it will go down. Like right now. You will also be traveling around the last week of this month of September just to see a mother figure or someone is actually your mother. It seems like you're going to be going back home. Now when it comes to your careers and finances, you will be working so hard and you will try to exert more effort into making this work. But unfortunately, you will have a hard time making it successful to the extent that you will start developing some disease or health problems. It will also dawn on you that if you should still continue doing this or not because it's not really paying off and it's not really doing well. Now travel within the last week of this month but there will be a very small amount of money that you're going to be getting back into something more likely whatever it is that you're going to be you know on a mission to especially if you will be selling something or if you are going to be opting for a loan you're only going to be getting a very small amount of money now when it comes to your love life and sex life there will be a lot more dramas you will try to make someone believe that you're still into them but unfortunately you're already starting to look outside the door and outside the fence there will be an obsession issues I feel like you're the one who's going to be holding on too much and be too possessive with your partner, but your partner is starting to weigh down their options. It's like they're also getting tired of all the dramas, bickering back, back and forth, and the suspicions, the, the doubts, and the never-ending arguments. You will try to woo your partner at this point, but your partner will be holding the key and only them can make the decision if this is still worth trying and proceeding. When it comes to your health, I feel like you need to stop eating nuts. Uh, avoid walnut during this month because you're going to have a lot of al allergies and um, your skin will become even more oily. Also take care of your immune system high blood pressure, chest pain, back pain, and uh, nausea, and scoliosis issues, okay? Now you also need to check with your, check your eyesight. You'll, you will also be very conscious of your image, of your appearance, especially your hair, and if ever that you're still, because uh, you will notice that you have grown differently from how you used to be and from how you used to live before and you also need to stop smoking because you're starting to develop some teeth problems breath problems and saliva problems okay and stop self-medicating I feel like you will only get, you will only start getting more healthy if you will 
if you'll just leave some of your unhealthy habits. Again, at the end of the month, you will have cough, flu, and fever, and bronchial issues, plus an injury that is near your chest, right in between your chest and your stomach. All right. Let's take a look and be careful in biking. You might just tumble down. Be careful on the road because your accidents will most likely start uh, during the time that you're driving, jogging, running, or simply biking. I don't see any car accidents, but it's more of while you're going for a bike or doing your exercise. Positive recognition, successful completion, seven of emotion, nine of abundance, four of action, four of thought. Positive recognition, congratulations, your plan have worked out perfectly and now it's your time to shine. Brilliant new ideas will present themselves to you and success is all but assured. Express yourself openly and honestly, knowing that those surrounding you are trustworthy. Be open to unexpected opportunities. Unfortunately, those people who are surrounding you cannot be really trusted because they are just your so-called friends. Successful completion. This is a time of incredible accomplishment. You're justified in feeling joy, a sense of completion, and pride in the amazing job you've done. You've been blessed with many spiritual insights. As soon you'll begin a new journey, but for now, take the take time to bask in the happiness of your dreams coming true, which is becoming self-employed. Seven of emotion, your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. Nine of abundance, life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment. Take time to, jo to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small luxur luxurious gifts. You've earned the financial security and the independence you now enjoy. Four of action, you've worked hard and, uh, sorry, your hard work and sincere efforts lead you to a sense of safety, contentment, and financial security. You deserve to take a break and enjoy the magnificent life you've created. It may be time to celebrate a wonderful event such as an engagement, a wedding, buying a new home, or the birth of a child. Part of thought, spend time in nature listening for guidance from your angels and your own inner voice because overanalyzing the situation will provide the answers you're seeking. Consider taking a vacation or small break to help you rejuvenate and become clear on what your next step should be. Meditation can be very helpful. Let's take a look at your October forecast. of October for you will be a little bit chaotic and very complicated.
Ooh. Getting money at the third week of the month of October. Good, good, good. Celebrating your love. Trying to prove yourself, walking away. Insecurity, stubbornness, jealousy, getting caught up right handedly. First issues. Feeling nostalgic during this time. Be careful on getting bitten by a dog or any stray animals. Mm. And don't self medicate. Now, this is for the month of October, okay? As I've said, that your, I mean, the good things that's going to be coming in your life around the month of August and September, it's not going to be permanent. Now things will start to falter and to wither during the first two weeks of this month and even if there will be some opportunities that's going to arise and come to you, it's not going to be as big as what you used to get in the month of August and September. Now with this being in fail, you're going to be walking away and feeling so proud covering up your tracks and I feel like you're going to be back in touch with an earth sign and telling them your life story which is it's more of a lie okay there is something that you're going to be wishing to have again but you know the uh, the success will be momentarily it's going to be very 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 brief now there is somebody who's a water sign as I've said that you will be thinking about and who lives far from you and this person will be breaking your heart right at the end of this month of October. Money wise I feel like you will try to get a loan from someone who's an older fire sign but this person will be asking you to just go and find some work. So I don't really feel like you're going to be getting what you want. There will be a lot of roundups, runarounds, you know, wait for this, wait for that. I'm just waiting for this money. I'll just send you this and that. And the bottom line is when you just go and find yourself work. Okay. Now, when it comes to your work life or when it comes to your finances and career, it seems like you will be pretty much relying on those people around you and those people whom you thought is very close to you and someone that you can rely upon but unfortunately this is where you're going to know you're going to see and you're going to realize who are your real friends without your money you'll be receiving money right in the middle of this month of October but then you need to be very careful because right after that there is no opportunity that will be coming after you need to pay off your debts, you need to settle your bills, and you need to settle all of your financial obligations. Okay, you have to learn your lesson this time. Now, when it comes to your love life and your sex life, you will try to woo each other, woo your partner, but unfortunately, you're still going to be get, getting entangled and you're still pretty much hooking up with the other person that's outside of your relationship. You're going to be missing the old, your old self, your old you, and there will be a lot of traumas and confrontations, wooing and going, making up and breaking up, and I feel like if ever that you want to have sex, your partner will no longer be there for you, not really going to be touching you, and this is the reason why you're going to be opting to go back to the other person who is your spare tire, 
and you're gonna get caught up right at the end of this month that is why there will be some forced issues but you're not gonna be letting go of that person that you're with because you still want to bring back how you used to be but there will be you know the damage has been done it's too big to repair and what you should do right now is to rebuild yourself again rebuild your relationship the trust and the love singles it seems like if there if there are some important business matters and work issues that you need to settle don't be so impulsive make sure to get some wise advice from someone who's very very knowledgeable and well experienced all right now when it comes to your health things will start things will start looking good at the first week of this month but then right in the middle of the month be careful in getting bitten by a dog stray dogs stray cats and even rats and i feel like you also need to be a little bit more hygienic plus um do some cleansing and detoxification okay you'll also be sticking around with some crowd or group for some funding reasons but unfortunately you're not going to be winning their trust you will be traveling near the water and I feel like at this point you need to keep yourself healthy because you will start eating less at the end of this month because of your depression okay be very careful about that now let's take a look at your oracle cards for this month followed by the November forecast. Two of Thought, Helper of Abundance, Guardian of Action, Inner Strength, Aid of Emotion. Your angels have noticed that you're, that you're not moving forward. You have multiple options <coughs> that you're reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose. Ask your angels for a sign as to what direction to take or just listen to your own inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. It is because that you're going to be caught up with a lot of things. It's like there will be regrets, ambitions, daydreaming, you know, and then feeling so hurt about the people who just walked away from you. And it's like, you know, it will happen all at the same time. And this is what I've been trying to warn you about. Now, Helper of Abundance, although you have a lot to do, it's important that you get it organized first. Once planning is complete, you can roll up your sleeves and get to work. Your guardian angels surround you and they're ready to help out. This card also indicates a very loving, kind, and loyal friend. Someone with a big heart, a quick wit, and endless patience, and that person could be you. This is the earth sign that you're going to be getting in touch to. Guardian of Action, it's time for you to step up and be the leader. Your natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is your moment in the sun to move into the light and shine for all to see. This card is also about a person who has a charisma, is inspiring, enjoys the challenge, and loves the spotlight. Inner strength, you have a great courage and kindness. You may not realize how strong and powerful you are, but there's no problem you can solve. The compassion you serve for the gift to others must also be given to yourself. Stand strong in your convictions if they're right. Answer to tell someone is no. Aid of emotion, you feel a deep longing for something meaningful in your life. In your heart, you know that there's more out there waiting for you in the world, and it may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life. Creativity and abundance, dear one, you're being called into action. You're ready to accomplish great things and truly come to the fullest of who you are. It's time to break 
it's time for a great creativity, giving birth to beloved projects or becoming a parent. Follow your passion so that abundance and prosperity manifest for you. Now let's take a look at your November forecast. Well, it seems like you're going to be, some people will be going back and renewing their vows, renewing to the real, to the real love of their life, and there will be some changes in upliftment, and I also feel like you will start to, to accept your limitations. There is an air sign that you will tend to go back to. Marriage for those singles or engagements. Discontentment, checking out yourself, vanity. You know, actually, the problem in your relationship is with you, not with your partner. You're the one who's got a lot of issues. And a lot of baggages as well. Your insecurity about money, the things that you lack of, you need to accept your limitations. You need to start accepting who you really are and yourself, and that is how you will get further in life. Especially for those whose, uh, actually their moon rising is... Aquarius and not their sun rising you need to go and check out your priorities and your mindset Now, hmm, you will start to listen to the advice of others and to, to the advice of your family, which is, I feel like at this point, you will start realizing a lot of things about yourself and your own limitations. You'll be starting all over again, even though it's going to be really hard for you to accept in, you know, in, in your pride, you know, that you have started something, but it did not really just pan out well. Now you will also be traveling right in the third week of this month and there will be good news or you'll be reaching out to an air sign and there will be a reunitement, marriage, uh, exchanging vows, um, engagement and there will be like a big movement or big changes that's going to be coming your way. 
there is a fire sign that you're also going to be leaving behind and walking away from because this person is no longer serving you well and it's just you know more of a bad influence this is the person who just dragged you into a lot of wrong decisions and led you into a lot of unhealthy lifestyle now this person will be reaching out to you but you will just decide to walk away from it be careful in, commu in communicating with somebody from the past especially if your intention is not really right or if your intention is not really you know to more likely incline to your what your heart says I feel like the person that you have left have already gone to some le to someone else and that will be a bad news for you for some Aquarians okay if you have left somebody behind around September October and you're planning to go back into their life again around this month it's already too late for you now when it comes to your uh, finances and career things will start coming in rapidly however as I've said there is something that you need to leave behind walk away shut down close down and start all over again in a very minimal supervision and you're gonna be very depressed and very um, anxious about your new beginning you're thinking that what if I'm not gonna be able to get it again what if I'm not gonna be able to do it again it's like there will be a lot of what ifs but this is a big lesson for you to learn that sometimes you just need to know your limitations and whenever that there is a success make sure not to you know wear it in your head but wear it in your sleeve be humble enough and stay grounded okay I hope that you will learn something from this now when it comes to your sex life it's like you will still continuously repair even though re right in the middle of all your arguments and bickering and bantering you still continuously repair your relationship try to woo your partner you will also start looking more into yourself and checking out yourself there will be some vanity issues but your partner will start, will start looking into themselves again and feel so discontented how these things are going you will realize that you're starting to lose your partner and you will be doing a major big step about this more sexual adventures and let's say new exciting new styles and activities will be coming your way with your partner singles I feel like If you're into casual hookups, it's okay, but if you're looking for some serious relationships, I don't feel like this is the right time for you to look into that. Because you've been... Um, some Aquarians have been single for quite a few years already. It is because of your fears and they have imprisoned themselves in the past. But some Aquarians are dating multiple people both at the same time. And this is the reason why you can't find love because you have too, ma too many options right in front of you and you're too afraid to settle with one. Okay? Now when it comes to your health, there will be some high blood pressure issues, migraines, headaches, chest pain, you will also be changing your appearance you want to look younger issues about your immune system you're on your way to healing and I feel like you'll be joining most of your fun family fun and, and activities um, be careful in getting so near whether your pets or animals because it seems like they're going to be infecting you with whatever that's in their mouth and saliva don't let them lick you in your uh, lips or eyes it's I don't feel like it's really recommended for you at this point you will also be traveling near the water opting for new organic stuff and organic living you will also start gardening and uh, building something opting for some new hobbies or carpentry that is related to wood and uh, he should stop smoking because your lungs will be very much affected and I feel like your throat is already starting to develop some rashes or some wounds again um, cough, fever and flu and bronchial problems 
around the end of this month and you also need to learn how to balance your time, your schedule, and your life. Now let's take a look at your oracle cards. Before we proceed to your December forecast. Review and Contemplation, Ace of Thought, Garden of Action, Intuition, intuition and Insight, Manifest Your Dreams, and Choose Freedom. Review and Contemplation, you've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of. Now it's time to decide what's next as you contemplate the past and the present and you'll get clear on your divine life purpose. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking and be the real you. Ace of Thought, this cherub has arrived to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea, which is truly inspired. It's important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in the implementation of your idea. Don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way. These are merely course corrections to perfect your plan. Guardian of Action, it's time for you to step up and be the leader. Your natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is your moment in the sun to move into the light and shine for all to see. This card is also about a person who has the charisma, is inspiring, enjoys the challenge, and loves the spotlight. Intuition and insight, your intuitive abilities are very accurate right now, so you can trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction. Follow your own insights over the advice of others and don't allow fear or worry to guide your way. It may be best to keep your secrets to yourself for now. Manifest your dreams, you're ready to go. There's no need for additional preparation. Take the first steps toward the changes you desire, even if they're small steps. Notice the, notice the signs that guide you in the right direction as well as resources and support that miraculously appear. Choose freedom. Sometimes you may feel as though your way is blocked, but that's but often that's just an illusion. You can free yourself from the obstacles that you're focused on by choosing a different path. Turn your thoughts away from negativity and instead envision endless po other possibilities you might act upon. Sometimes you're the one who's actually manifesting negativities in your life. Okay, so this this time you need to change the way you think. Let's take a look at your December forecast before we proceed to your overview of 2019. Seems like December will be very good for you. Learned a lot of lessons. Your work and finances this month is still not going to be that up and high.
Now let's see. Oh, too much drama. Ten of stones. Be careful with your kidney. Now, first week of this month, it seems like there will be a lot of bills that you have to pay and settle. You will have enough money, but it will just go all to your financial responsibilities and obligations. But at least you'll be able to pay off some of your debts, or to most of your debts. And you feel like this is much better to... You need to pay everything because you don't even know if what's going to happen next. So at least you'll be learning more things and I feel like you're still going to have spare or some extra for the holidays. Now, middle of this month, you will be s saving much of your money and much of your, you know, whatever it is that you're going to be earning. And I feel like you're going to go back into... Uh, taking some wise actions and will be getting more busy when it comes to your work. I also feel like you will still think about this water sign by the end of the month. Which is, again, this is what came out. Um... It's like you just want to forget about the heartbreak that this person had brought you in your life, but you're still thinking about them. You really have deep feelings for this person. And you know that what, whatever it is that you're going through, it is only the right thing because the universe is only punishing you. you know, you'll be accepting that to yourself. Not to mention that you have played a lot of tricks with that other person, or that person had played a lot of tricks on you and um, this person will just keep on betraying you over and over again. Of course, they're still thinking about you, and if you want to know if they are, if they miss you, or if they kind of, you know, still thinking about getting in touch with you, yes. You need to move on from this person, because I feel like there has been a lot of things that already happened in your life because of this person. I also feel like the reason why you want to become successful, which you have made a lot of wrong turns, is also because of this person. I mean, this person have done a lot of wrong things to you, cost you a lot of money, cost you a lot of strife, and even you've lost a lot of good people in your life because of this woman, because of this person. And I feel like it's time. You know, it's time for you to think long and hard about this person. If this is your real karmic soulmate, and if you have an unfinished business together, then you need to close this chapter and move on. Now, when it comes to your work and finances, it seems like you'll be approaching somebody that you used to work with, which is an older air sign. But unfortunately, this person will be turning you down. So you'll be going straight home to your parents or to your home or to your house. And I feel like there will be a lot of things because you don't even know what's going to happen next. Everything else in your life is not really moving forward and there are a lot of delays that you have been debacling with. Now, right at the end, the last week of this month, there will be a lot of, a lot of people who will be getting in touch with you, but only for a temporary, let's say temporary job or temporary post, which is, it's fine. It's better than nothing. Okay, you also need to take care of yourself because your health will not be very good during the last week of this month because of your depression and stress. Now, sex and love life, there will be a lot of confrontations and you're still going to be seeing two people both at the same time. Your sex life is still making you feel isolated and alone 
and your partner is also not it's also it's already showing you a lot of unhealthy signs especially if they've been drinking every night and they know what's going on right behind them okay so this relationship is very toxic you just don't want to say goodbye to each other but it's already consuming the two of you right at, at the last week of this month it seems like you will try to make it through and make it up together and there will be and there will be some up and down moments but I feel like you're gonna be making it up so you will also find well, a bit of a harmony, but I f don't feel like you're going to be fully restoring it right at this month. Now, when it comes to your health, it seems like you're going to be still, okay? You need to take care of yourself, muscle pain, chest pain, and nose problems. You also need to learn how to balance because you've been working too hard and not really eating and sleeping, or you've been eating and sleeping too much and not really working. Now you also need to be a little bit more generous and if ever that there are some things that you don't really need, you have to give it to those who really need it. You also need to offer some more fresh food instead of instant food or artificial food. Again, you need to stop smoking, stop self-medicating and if you've been smoking pot, it's time for you to stop smoking because it, it's been ruining your mind, your health, and you're getting so dried up. There is also a food lifestyle that you need to leave behind and turn your back into. You will also be opting for some swimming therapy or water therapy for you to release whatever that's inside of you. You will be, you will have a lot more longer sleep during this time and I feel like you also need to take care of yourself and start living a healthy life. Like for example getting in this getting sun in your, you know, getting more sun for your skin and bones. Alright, let's take a look at your oracle cards for this month. Seven of action, ten of action, messenger of action, wow. Nine of abundance, four of thought, helper of emotion. Very little abundance. Now, seven of action, you're being called upon to claim your personal power and feel confident as your angels will give you the strength to say no, but it's the right thing to do for yourself. Your struggle may actually stem from an unresolved inner conflict rather than a conflict with others. Set of action, you're working too hard, the angels are asking you to find a healthy balance between your career and personal life. As I've said, you need to balance yourself. Be willing to ask help for help from others in order to lighten your load so that you can take better care of yourself. Straining, others to make, straining yourself to make others happy can be very harmful to your health. Master your of action, something new and exciting related to creativity or your career comes to your attention. You feel an eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going. Although you may feel insecure, do it anyway. This card represents someone in your life or maybe you who is creative, enthusiastic and fascinated by life and who wants to try everything. Nine of Abundance, life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small luxurious gifts. You've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy. Four of Thought, spend time in nature listening for guidance from your angels and your own inner voice because overanalyzing the situation won't provide the answers you're seeking. Consider taking a vacation or small break to help you rejuvenate and become clear on what your next step should be. Meditation can be very helpful. Helper of emotion, romance blooms and you find yourself falling in love. Gifts of flowers, love letters, and poems read it allow they're all in your future marriage proposals weddings and past life connections are possible someone new who is romantic dreamy and emotional may enter your life this person could be an artist who's an ideal idealist about love good for singles okay that you're going to be meeting somebody who is really your match one more thing 
don't scratch your acne or don't remove your acne because you will most likely have a facial infection that might just turn into a very big scar all right overview about the 2019 first quarter second quarter third quarter and fourth quarter but third looks better now there will be a lot of reflections and introspections that you're going to be getting yourself involved with, especially for the first four months of the of the year of 2019 and around the month of april there will be a lot of eye openers fresh new beginnings and new chapters that you're going to be closing and starting now the second quarter of the year you will be reconnecting with some of your old friends and uh, you will be increasing your network of clients and network of useful friends and people and you will learn you know how to uh, build yourself up and build your walls against those who appears too good to be true and I feel like you will be um, attracting much better helpful people during this time third quarter of the year success in all of your endeavors and projects and there will be a lot more travel that's going to be coming your way over the water above the water and I also feel like you'll be moving near the water during this time now last quarter of the year there there is something that you're going to be starting all over again which is more likely that you're going to be opting for another investment or to become self-employed okay so anyway that's it for you for this entire well, rest of the year of 2018, okay? And if you want to get your own advanced, personalized, you know, forecast for the rest of 2018, go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. You may offer a pre-recorded live video or live phone calls and, you know, you just need to ask for, for an assistance if ever you're having a hard time accessing the pages or the website or the services, all right? So have a, have a great month of July and blessings to you.